Yeah, there's a, there's a bit of pressure involved, I think, because I, think, I guess people look at you and you've got your, your Great Britain top on and they think you should be able to maybe magically make them hit the clay, but it doesn't work like that. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm as, uh, as excited as they are when, uh, when, they, when they break a few and they walk away happy. That's it. No. Is that okay? This I want you to pull, pull when you're ready and I'll release it back. Here it comes. That's perfect. Well done. Yeah. How the natural. Join that. The people that have never shot before, you want them getting off on the right foot straight away. And um, I think too many of us have been guilty of starting shooting without the right instruction at the start. And we all know if you carry on that way, it then takes a long time to, to put right. So starting people off correctly, um, making sure they're safe, obviously, making sure they're not going to get hurt by the gun, that they're holding it properly, it's in their shoulder right, their head's on the stock. Um, all those basic things, get them hitting a few clays and hopefully they'll, they'll come back for more. I think we've done that today. I think we've got a, a few people, well, more than a few people that will come back and be uh, having a serious go at it. Right-handed or left-handed? Right. Right-handed. Um, do you know what master eye you are? Right. Most people's answer. Okay. Right, I guess. So stand back. Uh -huh. Just stand back there. Uh -huh. We've had a lot of people who's, um, who've come for their first ever go and their partners shoot, but they've never had a go themselves. So while their partner's been off trotting around the 50 sport in and um, you know, seeing if they can win the trap or the, or the gun, um, their partner's coming out a go for the first time and, and, um, and enjoyed it and yeah, they got another person into the sport. And, um, great deal of youngsters, great deal of, of ladies and, uh, as well, which was good. People that had never shot before, never even held a gun. Uh, everybody hit something and everyone enjoyed themselves. So it's kind of, you feel that pressure yourself, don't you? When you're teaching people to shoot, um, they get as, you know, as much enjoyment out of it as, as I do, I hope, um, when you get them to, you know, to do the business. Try not to overcomplicate it, really. Go through the basics. Um, obviously, see if they have shot or they haven't shot before. Um, get what their experience is and um, and then go through the things you know right-handed left-handed master eye what their eye dominance is right yeah <laughs> I'm gonna take my hand off this time and let you do the whole thing but I'll be stood behind you okay. it's okay, okay. But as long as you do everything you're doing now nice good start excellent if someone goes away and they've hurt their shoulder or they've you know they've had some sort of bad experience from the day the chance are they're never gonna come and have another go so yeah, very conscious of that, making sure that everyone's happy and uh, yeah, everyone, everyone's, everything's been done right, nice and safe, nobody gets hurt, everyone has a, you know, a good time and hits a few clays. Okay. Cool. Absolutely brilliant. Well done. Yeah, how natural. Enjoying that? A bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a bit of a strange season really with um, it was very, uh, very intense at the start with the lead it to Olympic Games. Um, unfortunately, I didn't quite make the Olympics. I was reserved, but I had to do all the preparation as if I was going. So it was all pretty full on until um, from January until June. And then it was gun away, put the gun away for two months. Um, let Tim Neal and Steve Scott go do the business in Rio, which was fantastic for them guys finishing third and fourth. And... Um, and then almost felt a little bit like coming out of retirement a few weeks ago for the last Great Britain selection of the year uh, at Nut Hampstead and the British Championships. And um, I was fortunate enough to blow the cobwebs away and, and win both days, and, uh, which was fantastic. Very pleased. The, uh, the Saturday was almost as, as satisfying as the Sunday um, in really horrible, windy, overcast conditions. Managed to win the day with a, with a 143. And on the Sunday, which was about as good as it gets, really, hardly any wind, nice and sunny, beautiful blue skies, um, managed to shoot 148 and equal the, equal the world record and, and set a new British record. So um, take away the British Championship trophy at the same time. So that was a very, very good day. Far too young to retire. Um, as long as I still feel like I can do it and I'm improving, which I, I still feel like I'm improving year on year, which is the, the main thing. Um, I'm back at the top of the Great Britain rankings, so I'm probably shooting as well as I've ever shot. So as far as I'm concerned, it's, it's, um, we'll, we'll plough on for another four years and, and hope for Tokyo to, to work out.